If you have the common cold and you're not feeling too well, what are some things that you would do to get better? You might say eat some hot soup or maybe drink hot tea with lemon and honey and you'd probably get lots and lots of rest. When you think about it, you already know what to do to promote your own health and well-being. So why is it that more people don't do these health promoting activities on a more regular basis rather than waiting until you get sick? My guess is that a lot of us don't really think about it and we fall back on regular routines and habits that we've set up, even though some of those routines might not be to our best benefit. But what if you took a step back and looked at your life to assess what's working and not working for you. For example, how would your body feel if you prioritize your rest and got healthy amounts of sleep every night? Or if you consistently ate nutritious food and experienced movement and exercise more regularly? How would your mind be if you had more deep focus time took regular breaks, or even read a book that you enjoyed that wasn't related to work? How would your heart feel if you had deeper, more meaningful connections with those you care about in your life? And how would your life feel if you said yes to those things that make you feel more alive and no to those things that drain you? I imagine you'd feel more energized, more grounded, more connected, and more fulfilled. If you're already living this life, congratulations, keep on going. And if you're not living this life and you'd like to make some changes to embody more of this kind of life, then I say, congratulations, you've just made the first step. You see, the first step is becoming more aware of what nourishes and feeds you and also explicitly identifying what drains you. Imagine you have two empty bowls in front of you. You fill one bowl up with the activities, the habits, the people, and the environments that give you energy and vitality. Now the other bowl you fill with activities, habits, people, and environments that drain your energy and pull you away from who you're called to be. Now you get to choose from which bowl you'll feed yourself because the truth is you're always feeding yourself something. There is a saying, you are what you eat. What are you feeding yourself today and consequently your future you?